Anson and Linda, your wedding day and your week is finally here. Your family and friends are here watching and wishing you well. So real quick, I just want you to turn around and take a good look at all these people who are here to celebrate the both of you and wave hi. And you guys can wave back. There you go. There. You're the center of everyone's attention today. So there's absolutely no reason why you should frown. You should be smiling and should be happy about what is going to happen. Tossed in like a castaway. As I thought about both of you and your stories, there was no doubt in my mind that God had a hand in everything that's led to today. There aren't many people who date and then get back together and then commit to be married. The day after y'all split and Anson and I met up at Yard House, he could not stop talking about you or trying to play hard. He was like, I don't need her to Jeff. I think I miss her. Don't give up. Don't give in. Boy, and did he miss you? Because Anson usually lets things go, but I have never seen him work so hard and want something so bad back in his life. Being a friend is not something you can do without effort. And if you're lucky enough to be one of Linda's friends, you know how true that is. Linda is your ride or die. Anson has come in slow, strong, and steady in the past seven years. Their love story shows you that Anson is Linda's ride or die for life. So you're Rockets fans, so you know the last time they won a title, they were the sixth seed. They went from good to great that season. The jury is out about this year's team. We don't know where they're gonna take us, but will they make the leap to great? I don't know, but I know that in your marriage, you can make the leap from good to great with God as the center. A great marriage includes God as the third strand, intertwined, touching both the husband and the wife. Never give up. Don't ever throw the towel in. Won't give up. I've seen her grow from a little girl who refused to wear dresses and to a responsible woman today who has taken charge of her life. We both like to assess and consider all variables and before making a decision. You know that it has a lot of gravity, merit, and heart behind it. So today, Linda and Anson have exchanged vows to share their lives together. And you know that Linda has, has put everything into it and she, know, she knows it's right. Eight years later, she's with him today. They're standing up here, side by side, and I couldn't be happier. Anson and Linda, you have declared your commitment to each other before your friends, family, and God. And now by the power vested in me by the state of Texas and as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Anson, you may now kiss your bride. Family friends, it is with my great pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Anson and Linda Lau. I know that Anson is now married, so today, is the day that we retire him from hanging out with the boys. We're retiring Lao 2019. No longer will you be hanging out with us because you'll be taking care of Linda. But we want to commemorate this day, the day that you gave it all up to be with somebody for the rest of your life. I just want to say congratulations. Congratulations.